Well, hello there. Hey guys. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. AKA the Spicy Boys. It's been a while <laughs> since we mentioned that. I know. Um, so, we've got a really awesome episode planned for you today. We do. I I've picked the colours. Mm -hmm. Jeremy already knows what he's going to do, which yep. is what? A ring pour. Ah, because they're really beautiful colours and we've got some great size canvases. I'm not so sure. I'm going to wait until I get to the table and then okay. I'm going to decide, I think. Fair enough. Yeah, that's the plan. So, welcome to Tuesday. If you're in the live chat with us, hello, hello, and thank you for being here. We've got a fun weekend planned. We've got the Massey Art Studio auction of 47 pieces this Saturday. Yes. Starting at, I think it's 3, three o'clock Eastern, I think is what we said. Um, but I'll write it somewhere here and it'll be in the description box. And then on Sunday, we we're going to do a live and that's going to be a Super Chat Super Sticker giveaway where we're also going to give away one of those sparkly pieces that I've created for you guys too. Yes. So... Um, fun, fun stuff this weekend. Yes, it is. If you didn't already, please go catch all the TLP collab, which was the Piggy Love collab that just poured over the weekend as well. It was a lot of fun. Speaking of fun, let's get to the table. Let's get to the table. We'll see you there. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here, and I am super excited about today's pour. I have this wonderful 20 by 24 inch canvas. It has been pinned and taped on the bottom. Um, I... I'm just so excited. <laughs> <laughs> We're back painting in the studio. It feels a little yes. weird again being back here. I know. We haven't it painted does. for a week. But so it's we've so missed beautiful. It, it, is. it is. The so weather beautiful. is fantastic. It is mm -hmm. a great, like, 65 perfect painting weather. Yes. Nice and breezy. Um, so today, my colors, mm -hmm. let me show you what my colors are. Lee picked these out. They're beautiful. We have this beautiful phalo blue by Amsterdam. Thank you. We have. Syrah, this little piggy, mm -hmm. and this Syrah color is stunning. It's so interesting. And the way that we mix our little piggies are by using this acrylic gel medium by, by Saks. Saks. Yeah, it's called True yes. Flow. True Flow by um, Saks. What we found is, if I may take over for a moment, sure. the consistency of the True Flow is actually mimicking an, an artist loft or a level one, level two kind of paint, like an Amsterdam paint. So when you add your piggies to it, they disperse really well, and then it stays really true when you add flow troll. So that's exactly what we did here, sir. Yes. That is two tape, two kind of heaped spoons worth of the craft stick of the true flow, and then two of the piggies, and then we've mixed that with, gosh, it must be like eight ounces, nine ounces of flow troll. Yes. And that Syrah is a really wonderful, almost like black Molly. cherry yeah, kind of. black cherry. Yeah. It's really pretty. Really pretty. Yeah. Um, and then we're also using this Dioxazine Purple by Golden. Love it. Dioxazine. I love that word for some reason. Um, and Can then I... we have White Pearl by Deco Arts Dazzling Metallics. Try typing dioxazine every yeah, time we do the color in the uh, right. thing. Yeah, that and quinacridone are two colors that are, and phalo. <laughs> those are three words that I'm always having to type. And then um, we have, of course, the 24 karat gold by Deco Arts Americana Decor. Now, Metallics. as you guys know, we're affiliates of a few of these places now. You can get yeah. the Deco Art affiliate from our description box, the Arteza affiliate with 15% off using our code. Yeah. And then the Blick affiliate is there too. Yes. Now, I also have uh, PBO Studios. Uh, this is iridescent blue-green. I was left over from the fluid art experience. Yeah, Kathleen left us that one. I know, thank you, Kathleen. Yeah, indeed. Um, from Cos Creations. So what are you doing? Um, I'm actually gonna be doing a ring pour and I think I might wreck it. These okay. colors are so pretty. I think that they would make a great composition on the canvas. Excellent, well I've given you like three stroke four pearls. You've got three pearls and the piggies and then I've given you three opaques to kind of balance yeah, them out. you did. So that was my thought process here. Well, why don't we get to layering? Let's do it. I think I'm gonna go with a little bit of this. No, you didn't shout that one out, um, actually, but because I forgot to give it you, I think. Ah. It's the Caput Mortem. Oh, yeah, we got Caput Mortem. Caput Mortem. Going in first. Yeah. 
a little bit more. That'll be last out of the cup. Now I asked everyone previously whether they prefer to see the layer in or whether they prefer to speed it up. And unfortunately, about 50% of people said that they would prefer it to be sped up and 50% of people said they wanted to see it. Right. So um, we can't win either way, unfortunately. So um, what we always promise to do is not make this like 15 minutes long, because I know you're here to see the paint on the canvas. But, um, you know, seeing the layering hopefully will help you understand the reason why we've picked some of the colours. And it will show you just exactly how much of each colour we put in, because as you'll notice, the show pony put an awful lot less of the gold in there. Sure did. Right, Cuddle Monster? Uh, yes. <laughs> Jeremy's t-shirt, although you cannot see it, says Cuddle Monster. It does. There it is. <laughs> on pearl yeah it's an interesting color i really like it it is I, it is a really interesting color. that sarah has got these notes of like burgundy and red and it's very kind of cherry cola to me it is very cherry cola that's a good way to put it i look at a lot I like it a lot. Now, when you calculated how much paint you were going to put in this canvas, what did you calculate? 20 ounces. Yeah, it was 17, I think, was the actual calculation, but the yeah. cup is 20. Well, it's closer to 18. So we round that up to 35. <laughs> pretty much, yes. We pretty much do. Love that gold. Love that gold. Beautiful blue. Then we're going with this beautiful iridescent blue green by Pabeo. Next to that phthalo, it's really pretty. Oh yeah. That was my plan. That was my plan. Let me go down with a little bit of this. Pearl on pearl. Pearl on pearl. And then from there, we went back to the Cap of Morton. And I think that's my cap. I think you're full to, to burst in. I think so too. Look at those delicious colors. All right, guys, so here's my layered cup. I'm gonna go ahead and start my ringing. All right, guys, now the time to add my flow extender. Hello, flow. Hello, flow. This is a really moody, broody. And that flow is actually a mix of leftover paints. A lot so of leftover paints. When we don't finish using the colors that we've got in our cups, in our plastic pots, rather than just throw them away, clearly, because that would be a waste, we um, actually just consolidate them all in a big tub. Yep. And this is the color that we've got out of all of our consolidated paints. Yeah, there's like, there's all kinds of colors in this. Okay guys, I got my composition down here. I was going to wreck this, but it's so interesting I think I'm just going to leave it and stretch it out and see I what happens. It. Bring it up. Yeah, I think that's a great idea, actually. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Let's do it. 
It's tilting time. You almost forgot. You were so excited, <laughs> big boy. Yes, let's <laughs> tilt this one out. Holy moly guys, this is stunning. The lines in it are so great. I'm loving like the dioxazine purple and that phalo blue and and that pabeo that's popping up mm -hmm. everywhere. Like, But do you know what all this is right here? That's that cap up Morton. No, it's the Syrah. So oh, yeah. this is all of the little piggy that's all come around here in those lines, really yeah. pretty. Yeah. Really pretty. Lots of bling in this one. Yeah. For sure. And the gold really highlights this whole center here. Yeah. It's I'm really just, pretty. Yeah. I I'm like it a lot. It. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get my edges and take you guys in for a close up. Let's do it. Ladles and jelly spoons. Well, hello. <laughs> Jeremy, that was a stunning, stunning, stunning pour. Thank you. I really loved it. However, I bet there was at least three separate occasions where someone in the live chat said, leave some negative space or stop <laughs> tilting. Like, no. So as he was pouring it, I actually have just decided on the fly to do a dustpan pour because I really like this base coat color that we got, which was like the pot of many colors. Yes. So I'm going to use the base coat 
as negative space and I'm going to do a lovely dustpan pour down the side. However, the show pony did wreck a ring pour in a dustpan not that long ago and it's something I've never done. Yeah. So I wanted to wreck my ring in my dustpan and then pour it out. So that's what we're going to do today. Bit of an Cute. experiment. So first things first, I'm going to layer my cup. Then I'm going to put my base coat down. Then I'm going to ring into Donald. Then we're going to throw this one onto the canvas. Sounds good. So let's get to layering my cup. Jeremy, I'm going to do it right here, if I may. Yeah, go ahead. I got to say, I really loved the way that you that you layered your, your cup. Um, I'm going to start with the dioxazine purple also, because I think you did as well, right? No, I did the cup at Morton first. Oh, well, there we go. Um, this is the lovely pearl white, and I'm going to go in with pearl on pearl, this time with some of the piggies on top of the white. That is my plan. Then I'm going to go cap at Morton. So that's going to form the center of my ring. Let's do a tad bit of gold. Gail is here from California, right? Gail now. is blowing a what's it out there. It is crazy windy. I know Jeremy's like freaking out that he's going to get some heebie jeebies floating into his composition. I know. But they are well protected, so I'm sure it's going to be fine. <laughs> Actually, I'm just going to go straight in with the capo. Wow. I don't know. This healthy layer of piggy there. And blue. I love the turquoise or that whatever that pebio is next to the blue. I mean, that's yeah. just really wonderful. I don't know if I'm going to get this high because I don't know if I'll get all 20 ounces in the pan, but that's where we're going to stop. So that is my layered cup. Now I'm going to get a base coat of my colour onto my canvas, but I am going to disregard where my pan's going to be. So my colour is going to be from here down. So let's get this on the gildos. All right, let's get to layering Donald. Right yeah. there, you're perfect. Ready? Yeah. We're gonna wreck it. Alright, let's get this delicious pan of many colours on this canvas. I'm going to put a little bit of this on the lip. This is the base coat color, just to make sure that everything is covered. And to help these colors slip and slide off Donald. All right, sir, are you ready? I am ready. Me too.
All right, ladies and jelly spoons, let's tilt this one out. Jeremy, what time is it? It is tilting time. It's tilting time. All right, now taking the base coat, I'm gonna put some of this in strategic places to help me play around with this composition a little. So there you have it, folks. Wow, I love wow, this one. That's so pretty. Thank you. I loved folding the dustpan, um, which was which caused these really interesting kind of ripples and then like the, the the lines within the composition, and then as well as wrecking it as well, which the show pony did, which which I really really loved in his piece. Yeah, I really enjoy this one a lot, and I really like that base coat we just created out of nowhere. So um, I'm going to do this, folks. I'm going to get my edges. I've just torched her off. I'm going to take you guys in for a close-up. Thank you, everyone.
So there you have it, folks. There you have it. Hmm. I love <laughs> this one. I do too. What did you think of your your ring pour show? I pony? loved it. This blues and that gold highlight in the center and oh my god, the Cap of Morton and um, the what was the little piggy name again? Sarah. Sarah. Hey Sarah. That's it. Uh-huh. But Sarah like peeked through everywhere. Stunning. Just beautiful. Yeah, I loved this one. Using that slick piggy recipe of the Sax True Flow, mixing that up and then adding the flow troll. Um, Mina has the tipsy figgy, which is alcohol and mix. If yeah. you can't get either one of those two or you don't have them, then we've got an alternative recipe for you right here. Right. I loved it too. It was a stunning piece. I really enjoyed mine. So as Show Pony was pouring, or should we call him the Cuddle Monster today, <laughs> um, I guess I guess that there was at least 15 of you that were shouting, stop, stop, about 15 times all the way through your pour, because it looked really great with that negative space. It did. But he had something in his mind, and he wanted to create an open, a, a sort of like a full canvas ring pour. Yeah. That gave me the idea to do a dustpan, and I wanted to wreck it just like you did in the previous pour. Nice. And I really loved it. This I was loved your dustpan. A really fun pour overlapping the paints as I kind of poured it onto the canvas, created some really fun, interesting yeah. piece, interesting lines within the piece. So yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Good. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for being with us on this Tuesday. Now, if you are here with us, you'll probably know that Brian from Upper Valley Artistry has got a premiere as well. And Coz will also be uh, downloading an episode or uploading an episode today. So please go check them both out. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, guys. Oh, and it's Nate Bright's birthday today. So happy birthday, Nate. Oh, happy birthday, Nate. One of our Patreons. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It means the world to us. And have a drink for Nate. And have a drink for Nate. Feral Arts will be dishing <laughs> them out, I'm sure. Cocktails are bound by Kelly. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on Friday. All right, guys. All right, see you soon. Bye. Bye. And now to spank the Patreons. Spank the Patreons? Yeah. Who are the Patreons? Yeah, well, let me tell you. <laughs> the Patreons are a really special group of people um, that have joined us on our Patreon account. Now, that is a very special account to our YouTube channel. Yeah. And over there, people can opt into certain tiers or certain levels. One level will give you sneak peeks and behind the scenes footage, lots of little secrets about what's going on in Massey Art Studio. At another level, you'll get access and invited to a WhatsApp group where the show pony and I <laughs> chat, we share pictures, and then we set a weekly painting challenge. Yes. At a different level, you also get access to an exclusive once a month live stream that isn't aired on the YouTube channel. And at the Platinum level, you also get access to a once a month tutorial where we do like a real deep dive into a, a technique or yes. something that the guys, the Platinum Patreons, really want to know about. Now to spanking those people. At our Gold level, we have Trisha West, Terry Leshner, Tammy Hasbrook, Stephanie Hancock, Sharon Luffy, Rebecca Hawes Winters, Patsy Petrelli, we have Nate Bright and Misty Tyson. We have Mama Doulas, Linda Serien. We've got Kelly Stowell, Janice Swansea. We've got Jane Klein. We've got Gloria Salaki, Gillian Kennedy, Donna Panis, Donna Patterson, and Amy Gardner, AKA, AKA Crafty Chicken Mom. Oh, that's a lot of spanking. It is a lot of spanking. Well, the spanking continues okay. with the platinum level. Right. Who is Susan Shepperson, Leslie Beaver, Janice and Steve Pittman, Elaine Burton, Dana Foxley, and at the diamond level... Hey, you all know her lover. <laughs> Sparkles. <laughs> Yay, I've got a sore hand from all that spanking. So to you guys and everyone else down below at the bronze and silver level, thank you so very much for wanting to be with us, for the extra support, and uh, for wanting to take a little bit of extra interest in Massey Art Studios. Absolutely. Thank you guys.